Hey everyone, welcome to Technibox and today I'm starting a new series called SQL Tutorials and I will be covering SQL in, in depth and starting from the basics on this tutorial series and first of all the things you need is just the SQL software as you can see here is the SQL website and to download the SQL software you can go to this this link and I will give this link in the description below and then you can download this file called MySQL Essential 5.1.30 win32.msi file and as you can see I have already downloaded the file now let's install it it's easy to install click on next click on custom installation and as you can see these are the files which I'm going to install you can change the destination if you need but I don't recommend that and click on next click on install and it's being installed now it's installed and I have to install the MySQL enterprise click on next click on next configure the MySQL server now click on finish and it's done so now you have to go to start and then type in MySQL server instance configuration wizard click on that open it and you will get something like this click on next click on remove I mean reconfigure instance and click on next click on standard configuration click on include bin directory in windows path click on next and from here onwards you can create new password so now let's do it put in your password and click on next click on execute and it will install everything now so now it's finished click on finish and now it's done mysql is installed on your computer so what you can do is go to start and type in mysql command line right there click on that and you're in this is the mysql command line software and i will be using mysql command line to execute each mysql commands and first of all you will have a prompt to insert the password which you have entered during the installation process so now you can install the I mean input the password type in your password and click on enter as you can see you are logged into MySQL and now you can start executing commands so now let's check if everything is installed properly by typing in a command let's type in the basic command show databases which shows every single database on this server click on the enter and as you can see here are the sum of the databases which is there by default and as you can see everything works properly this is the end of part one installation and in the next tutorial I will be covering more beginners commands and more let me exit it and that's it guys stay tuned for the next video bye